नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ एक्सपेक्टेड रिटर्न दैट इज मीन रिटर्न फॉर द सिक्योरिटी एक्स इज ट्वेंटी परसेंटेज फर्दर इट इज सब्जेक्ट टू स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन ऑफ फाइव परसेंटेज वॉट डज स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन मीन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द एक्सपेक्टेड रिटर्न दैट इज अ क्वेश्चन so friends over here we have been provided with the information that let us say that say we have found the mean return is 20 percentage and standard deviation is calculated as 5 percentage now from this information we are required to give answer that what do we understand with the term standard deviation with respect to the mean that is a question dear students over here we have to understand that say this kind of relationship is basically developed by using the z table that is normal probability distribution table so it has a kind of conclusion like this dear students this question is basically for the purpose of your understanding just to make you clear that standard deviation is indicating that it is the measurement of the risk definitely these kind of questions will not form part of the examination but this is more for the purpose of understanding exactly in between it is x bar that is say the mean return which is 20% over here now there is a formula like this that is z is equal to x minus x bar divided by standard deviation there is a formula like this now understand it carefully what i am going to speak suppose answer of the z is 1 suppose so can we say that say the numerator itself is the denominator so z is equal to 1 so can we say that say the z is equal to 1 means in the z table say so one has a reading like this 0.3413 so basically what happens at say over here if at all we see this diagram then in that case on the left hand side and on the right hand side on both the sides so we will be having say point 3413 as this area x bar plus or minus one standard deviation what i am telling you that say the numerator itself is the denominator so we understand something like this that 25 minus 20 upon 5 or we can say that say it is 15 minus 20 say upon 5 so in both the cases the answer is 1 may it be positive may it be negative and it has a reading of 0.3413 so the total of both of them is 68.26 now what do we understand with the term 68.26 percentage understand it carefully this standard deviation has a kind of interpretation like this that actual return will fall as x bar plus or minus one standard deviation for that say there are 68.26 percent chances standard deviation is indicating that say what would be the volatility of the actual return in comparison to the mean return what will be the deviation of the actual return with respect to the mean return that is what so the standard deviation is indicating and for that so the chances are 68.26% like this now we understand that say suppose the answer for z is equal to x minus x bar divided by standard deviation and answer for the z is 2 so can we say something like this that say this is double of the standard deviation so we understand that so over here as far as this example is concerned it is 10 minus 20 upon 5 at the same time we can say it is 30 minus 20 upon 5 so the answer is 2 Now what is the reading of two? Reading of the two is point four seven seven two. Now what does this point four seven seven two is indicating? Let us understand. 
see over here, this is the area, x bar plus or minus 2 standard deviation. As far as this area is concerned, we can say that so this area is, use a calculator 0.4772 into 2, that is 0 0.9544. So it is point, point 0.4772 into 2 that comes to 0 0.9544. What does it mean friends? It means that there are 95.44% chances that actual result will be x bar plus or minus 2 standard deviation. That is what we understand. So the range of, so the actual return, say so will be x bar plus or minus 2 standard deviation. For that, say so the chances are 95.44 percentage. So standard deviation is basically indicating that say to what extent, say what is the probability of the actual return that will deviate, say from the mean return. That is what so the standard deviation is indicating. So over here, uh, concluding the point like this. Actual result will be in between 15% uh, to 25% for that the chances are 68.26% the return will fall between 10% to 30% for that so the probability is 95.44% then the return will fall between 5% to 35% for that the probability is 0.4987 into 3 that comes to sorry 0.4987 into 2 0.9974 that is 19.74 percentage so the return will fall in this range x bar plus or minus 1 standard deviation x bar plus or minus 2 standard deviation x bar plus or minus 3 standard deviation for that so the probabilities are like this so we understand that so the had the volatility of the actual return from the mean return so the risk will be more that is what say we understand over here this is the reason the standard deviation is considered as a measurement of the risk for the purpose of analysis this is what say we conclude over here so let an answer Standard deviation is indicating of volatility of return. from mean return full stop in the return higher standard deviation means more risk and vice versa full stop considering normal probability distribution method comma we can say that x bar plus or minus one standard deviation range of outcome
I'm sorry, probability of range of outcome. Sixty-eight point twenty-eight, sixty-eight point twenty-six percentage. X bar plus or minus two standard deviation. Ninety-five point forty-four percentage. X bar plus or minus three standard deviation. That is. Ninety-nine point seventy-four percentage. This is the probability for the range of outcome. The reason for doing this question is only to make you clear that standard deviation is a measurement of the risk. More the volatility, the risk is more, and vice versa. So, given a situation wherein two securities are offering the same return, of course we will go for an investment opportunity where risk is less. If at all two investments have the same risk, we'll go for an investment opportunity which gives more return. In a situation where he said that two securities are having a situation where one of the securities giving comparatively more return with lower risk, we'll go for that investment. This is what we understand. Say from this.